Hey, you welcome back to YT Finance, and this is the channel where I went to business school so you didn't have to, and today we are talking about the top six stocks to buy right now that have 10x potential. The article titles of this video are, buy these three potential 10x stocks now, and you might look like a genius later. Then we're going to look at the top three stocks that can turn $100,000 into $1 million by 2030, and again, this is a 10x increase. If you want more videos like this one, remember to go and smash the like button right now, comment your thoughts down below about these stocks and or which one is your favorite. Subscribe if you are new, and without further ado, let's get right into the video. The market opportunity right now for growth stocks is absolutely amazing because the market seems to be pushing growth stocks and innovation stocks very far down, way past the fair value of many of these growth stocks. To start off our list, we're going to look at Fiverr International, ticker symbol FVRR. The current stock price is $72. The low end price estimate in the next year is $120. The average price consensus in the next year is $186 and the high-end price prediction by analysts is $270, and Fiverr is supposed to reach this within a single year. However, the future price target for the stock goes all the way up to $752 per share, which is more than a 10x potential for this particular company. Now, why is this a 10x company? Well, a recent report by Upwork that just released a research paper that said that more than 50% of the United States population is going to start participating in freelancing by 2027. And because Fiverr International operates as a marketplace and a platform for various freelancers to do business with buyers, this is going to heavily impact Fiverr's revenue and therefore their profitability and hopefully their stock price. The company's revenue grew by around 77% year over year in 2020, and it also increased 42% in 2019, and this growth trajectory is set to go all the way until 2027 and beyond. This revenue growth has pushed the stock price very high lately to a price to sales ratio of as high as 56, but as you can see from this graph over here, the stock price which is labeled in orange, you can see is $83.61 at the time of this snapshot, and that their PS ratio has plummeted down to 10.77. So this multiple is way better than the multiple of 56 for their PS ratio. However, if we look at their revenues, their revenues are continuously scaling up $273.79 million. And this is a great positive slope and forward trajectory. So although the stock price was initially tracking with their revenue growth right here, we can see because of this market pullback and because people are liquidating their growth stocks, this is a fantastic buying opportunity because their revenues are way up here. Another reason why this could be a 10x stock in the future is because the overall market cap for the company is only 2.6 billion and it's set to reach a market cap of over 26 billion dollars in the future. So if we invest into this company now, we have the potential to 10x our money. So if we want to look on the bright side of this growth stock sell-off, this can actually provide us with a fantastic buying opportunity specifically for Fiverr stock. This has lowered their overall PS ratio, and with fantastic increasing revenues, this is going to be a fantastic stock to own according to analysts. Analysts even anticipate for the fiscal year of 2021 that the revenues would have increased 55% year over year, and in 2022, that revenue estimate is supposed to increase another 26% year over year, which is fantastic growth, and this makes Fiverr a fantastic long-term stock to buy if we follow what analysts are saying right now about it. Next up, we have Marketa, which is a payments technology company. The current stock price for MQ stock is $10.84. The low-end price target by analysts for this year is $17. The average price consensus is $24.33, and the high-end price target is $36 per share. So this is already going to be a fantastic buying opportunity because the current stock price is trading way below the low end price estimate according to analysts. But if we look over at their future price target of $112 according to analysts, this stock could more than 10x. Marketa is like a middleman that stands between various payment applications and financial systems such as Visa and MasterCard. Marketa also has fantastic customers such as Uber, DoorDash, and Block, which used to be called Square. And I personally am very bullish on Block's technology, and if 
I'm bullish on Block, that makes me bullish on Marketa because Block is one of Marketa's largest customers. If we go down here to the stock price, we can see that Marketa IPO'd and then ever since their IPO or initial public offering, the stock price that's in orange has absolutely plummeted. However, just like we saw with Fiverr, the revenue for this stock is continuously increasing although the stock price is pulling back. So this is why I deem this stock as a fantastic buying opportunity because investors aren't thinking and they are just liquidating their stocks because of fear, uncertainty, and doubt, also called FUD in the market. But if we look at the fundamentals of these companies and their amazing revenues, we can see that this stock is a fantastic buying opportunity even though the current stock price is falling. The current market cap for the stock is only $5.8 billion, but they also have a gigantic addressable market. Another reason why this stock could be fantastic to get into right now is because the PS ratio has fallen from 40 all the way down to 12. And now this doesn't mean that the stock price doesn't have to keep falling, it definitely could keep falling, but I think in the long term, this stock will more than recover. The reason why I think that is that this company has been thriving and posting year-over-year -year revenue growth for 2021 specifically in their third quarter of 56%. The company also has fantastic customers like we talked about earlier, Block being my favorite customer of them, which gives them around 70% of their revenues. However, there is risk here. Even though I think Marketa is a good long-term buy right now, it is concerning that 70% of their revenue comes from a single customer, which is Block, because if Block ever decided to drop Marketa, that would be absolutely disastrous for the overall company and their stock price. So please keep that risk in mind. Now let's move on to Global E Online. The ticker symbol is GLBE. The current stock price is $31, which is a fantastic deal because it's trading below their low end price estimate according to analysts this year of $50. The average price consensus that analysts think that the stock is going to reach this year is $72 and the high end price prediction is $80 per share. Now again, the future price target for this stock is $311, which would basically give us an exact 10x potential from the the stock's current price. But why can this stock 10x? Well, this is an e-commerce play, and we all know how successful Amazon has been in the e-commerce space. Global E-Online's platform helps direct-to-consumer cross-border e-commerce businesses so they can sell to people across the entire globe. Global E-Online makes this very convenient for various businesses because they localize and translate the languages, they have proper pricing, and they take that country's tax and logistics into consideration when setting up these various shopping experiences for both customers as well as businesses selling on their platform. Global E-Online also has gigantic supporters such as Shopify, which bought a 5% stake into the company, and they also have a giant partnership with Meta Platforms, formerly known as Facebook. The company is growing exponentially in their revenues, with a revenue retention rate of 140%. The revenue is absolutely increasing at a huge positive clip and an amazing positive slope. However, the stock price is falling, and that means that the P.E. ratio is also falling along with it. So is right now a good time to buy this company? Well, I would say yes, because the market cap is only around $4.6 billion right now, which is extremely small, and we know that Amazon scaled very well in the e-commerce market, and I think Global E, even if they only have a quarter of the success that Amazon has had, this stock could grow exponentially throughout the next couple of years. Now, I do want to say that this is a very young business. However, analysts are very bullish on this overall stock because they expect $240 million worth of revenue for the entire year of 2021 and a 53% revenue increase in 2022. Also, this company has a gigantic addressable market of $736 billion, and with the company currently trading at only $4.6 billion, it has a lot of growth opportunity to even gain 5% of this overall market. Speaking of fantastic e-commerce plays, I want to talk about one of my personal favorite stocks, and that is Mercado Libre, ticker symbol M-E-L-I. The current stock price for Meli stock trades at around $1,003. The low end price target, according to analysts, is $1,250. The average price consensus is $1,800. 
$2,889, and the high-end price prediction is $2,200. The future price target for the stock that does not include stock splits would value the stock at around $11,736. However, I personally think that the company will not let the stock get to that large of a number, and they will most likely perform a stock split. This company is another e-commerce play, like I mentioned earlier, and they are specifically targeting the Latin American market. They offer various things from e-commerce, digital payments, and logistics, and this is already a large company with a market cap below $60 billion. According to analysts, Mercado Libre is one of the top growth stocks to buy for 2022 overall, which is saying a lot, and the stock right now is trading at a fantastic discount of 40% from their 52-week high. So many analysts are anticipating that this stock will rebound very strongly in 2022, and I tend to agree with them. Morgan Stanley even anticipates that the e-commerce market and the penetration for e-commerce, specifically in Latin America, will double by 2025. So at minimum, we could anticipate that the stock price could potentially double in the next three years, which would absolutely outpace almost every other stock on the entire stock market, including the S&P 500. Next up, we have Unity Software, which is a very well-known company, and this is also one of ARK Invest's favorites. Kathy Wood absolutely loves this company, and for good reason, because this company has one of the largest addressable markets and developing markets ever. Unity Software, ticker symbol U, currently trades at $97, which is higher than their low-end price target according to analysts of $82, so this stock could still pull back a lot, and that's what I'm currently waiting for. I'm waiting for the stock to pull back a little more before I decide to invest into this company. However, the average price consensus for the stock is $173, and the high-end price prediction is $194 according to analysts. The future price target for the stock is $1,050, so if the stock can go from $97 all the way to $1,050, this is going to be absolutely amazing for shareholders. Kathy Wood is extremely bullish on this stock, as well as ARK Invest as a whole, because this is a metaverse stock play, and the metaverse is going to be worth trillions of dollars. The current estimates for the metaverse says that the overall market could reach a $30 trillion industry in the next 15 years. This means Unity, even if it grabbed only 1% of this market, would be a multi-billion dollar company. Company. This is why analysts believe that this stock could easily 10x in the future and that it can turn $100,000 into a million dollars in the next couple years. The reason why analysts and Kathy Wood of ARK Invest are so bullish on this company and why I think this company is absolutely fantastic is that it has software that is used to develop and make 3D interactive content virtually. And it's so successful that it's literally the number one platform that various game developers and metaverse developers are using right now. Currently, 700 of the top 1,000 mobile games are using Unity software or have used Unity software to create their games, and this success is supposed to continue well into the future, so I think they could easily snag more than 1% of this $30 trillion industry, such as the metaverse. This is one of the best metaverse stocks that you can possibly buy, which is why I am very bullish on this company. The company's overall goal is to grab market share, specifically in their software for the metaverse of 60 to 80 percent because they want 60 to 80 percent of the metaverse content to be built off of their Unity software. If this is true, this would be absolutely insane. The current market cap for the stock trades for around 37 billion dollars, and by 2030, analysts believe it could easily reach a 370 billion dollar market cap. And I 100 percent agree with them, and I am extremely bullish on this company. Now, lastly, we have another Ark Invest favorite, which is Twist. Biosciences, ticker symbol TWST. The current stock price for TWST stock is $52. The low end price target, according to analysts for this year, is $70. The average price consensus is $105, and the high end price prediction is $130. However, the future price target for the stock is $540, according to analysts, which makes various companies, including ARK Invest, very bullish on this company. This is a biotechnology company, and this means it's a biotech play that could be included 
included in a well-diversified portfolio. Now, this company specializes in making synthetic DNA, and this synthetic DNA is used for the development of drugs and various other research. Now, the overall addressable market for this company is not very big at only around $1.8 billion annually. However, they also have another market segment, which is DNA storage, which represents around a $35 billion market opportunity, which is way larger than their synthetic DNA market. The company has already confirmed that it can store and synthesize DNA on a one micron chip. And if Twist Biosciences can continue with innovating their technology, it wouldn't surprise me if the DNA cost for DNA storage nears $100 per terabyte of data. And the company wants to reach this milestone, and if it does, the stock could 10x. But I want to hear your thoughts. Comment your thoughts down below on any of these companies. Subscribe if you are new. Remember to smash the like button for more content like this one, and I will see you in the next YT video.